Hey guys, what's up? Team Natty back here again. And I know it's been a long while since I had a video put out. I think maybe the beginning of April was the last time I put out an actual video. Um, apologies. And it was just a random shoe video. I Before that, the last one I put out was like, what, like January? It was like either in December, right before Christmas or January. Uh, a lot of them are getting a lot of hate. Uh, well, actually, not a lot of them. One of them's getting a lot of hate. I don't know why, it's just a little vlog video and I added a review in there and people are getting all butthurt and frustrated, but it's besides the point, I don't care. Like, I literally have not checked into YouTube as a creator, this is a little kitty beside me, as a creator in a while. I've watched videos on there, get on, but I, like, I check my numbers and I'm really grateful that my subs and watch time keep going up and you guys are watching some of my older content and I'm really thankful for that, uh, but I haven't really had the time or the really the passion or want to upload because I had a lot of things change in my life and the other day I was thinking the other day I was thinking about um I was thinking about journaling I've uh, been uh, over, over the quarantine which by the way I hope uh, it's been all right for you guys I hope that you either used the time to learn a new skill or that you helped work during that time or that you did something I hope it wasn't too bad for you I uh, if you did lose employment I hope that God opened another door for you and you found better employment or you know new employment that helped in a different way um, It's uh, it's a hard time for everyone and I tried using that time while I was working from home to um, one work on my fitness and put that at the for like the forefront of my motivation or not my motivation but at the forefront of my um, my focus again uh, because there for a while it my diet and my fitness fell to the back burner and I wasn't really I wasn't really touching up on them as much as I wanted to as much as I should be as much as I used to uh, my passions had shifted and I was honestly I was really depressed um, not anything bad, just like I was sad about things in general because things weren't the way I wanted them to be and I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Um, and honestly, uh, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things went south and fell apart. Um, to be completely honest, lost my job, relationship ended, things happen, you know? I'm not going to point fingers. I'm not gonna say anything about what happened or details. It's not important. What's important is that I was able to bounce back from that, hit the ground running. You know, I decided like I could sit there and think this is the greatest tragedy that ever beset me, or I can make it about my greatest comeback story and how my chain was essentially cut and I was set free to chase my destiny. So in doing that and chasing my destiny, I started, I got a new job. And it's actually been really great for me. It's honestly better, uh, not, not to just like sound like that, like, oh yeah, I'm doing better now, you know? Um, truly is and has been a lot nicer for me in a lot of different ways. Now, do I miss my old job? Yeah, I miss the busyness of it. I miss, um, I miss the, um, the human interaction and the busyness of it. And working from home is a whole different beast, especially when you're trying to learn a new profession. But it's been working out for me. Uh, and I've been able to focus on my fitness and my schedule's been able to be a lot better and more flexible and a lot less stressful. I've had so much less stress, like recently, like about a month, I think it was like about around April, I, I realized, I looked around, I was like, man, I am like not as stressed as I used to be. I used to be so stressed. Like wake up, commute, clean up, uh, dress up for work, have to deal, like the whole rigmarole of, you know, working in a pharmacy and all the, all the stress that comes with that. And uh, the relationships I had at that time, you know, I was doing a lot of toxic things and it wasn't good. And like, now that I've been out of that, like I realized like, whoa, like uh, my shoulders are so like light now. Anyway, within the quarantine process or time or whatever, I thought like I read, I read a few books. Uh, I worked on myself. I watched a lot of videos about uh, self-improvement, self-betterment. Cause I realized that I was in a spot where I was being toxic. I was being negative And I let myself slip into a point where I wasn't being a good man, uh, unfortunately. Well, I thought about this quite often, uh, and that's why I wasn't really uploading videos. I, I, you know, listened to the military, and I'm trying to, you know, further that goal, but it got pushed back as well with the whole COVID thing. Uh, so at first, my my thing was I'm not gonna, I don't want to get too involved into YouTube because then I'll miss it, you know, when I leave. But then I thought about it, and I was thinking about working on myself, bettering myself. I read the books, I was watching videos, and I I tried to journal a couple times, and I realized, like. 
it's hard for me to remember to journal. But then I thought about YouTube and I was like, it's hard for me to do YouTube videos too, but I could knock off the two together and do both journaling, not as an as intimate as like an actual journal would be. And I, I'm gonna still try to do that somewhat, um, just in order to like pinpoint goals and things I'd like to work on and stuff that happened, things like that. But I could do the self-improvement thing and the YouTube thing at the same time, bring it together like a sandwich, like a PB and J, if you will, and start uploading again, start being active again on here. Cause I realize my audience has expanded and I feel bad for leaving you guys just hanging with old material and content. I'm not producing anything. Um, just trying to better myself. And I thought, well, this could help me one better myself two, help others and three, actually get on YouTube again and start making stuff. And I wanted to talk about a little change in the channel. Like you see, I used to be like, just all over the place. I was reviewing Oreos and beer. The channel really never got a good proper like theme or whatever. I called it Team Natty Fit, like AM or whatever. You know, I wanted to be about fitness at first. And I realized that like, it's not, for me fitness is just, it's an integral part of it, but it's only one part of being, like, you know, my entire life. You know, I made it about shoes and stuff, but then I realized shoes, running, all these things, like they all come together and they're, they're me. Hey, big kitty. What I mainly want to do here is not make a channel about one thing like fitness or running shoes or running in general, but make a, make a channel about being overall motivational, fitness, running, things that help your life become easier, like, um, like different running shoes, things that you could use to help improve your running game or things that you could use to help improve your fitness or things that you could use to help improve your mindset in your life. So instead of just making it, oh, like Team Natty as a fitness thing for natural fitness, but make it a thing about naturally living as a man and being a better man. Naturally living, and like that means, you know, we're not gonna be, you know, not going to the doctor and getting a certain medication to make us happy, but finding ways to express ourselves, outlets for creation, good ways of coping with certain things or how to accept compliments, how to apologize, how to uh, work on ourselves physically and mentally and become better people. Maybe not just even better men, but better people in general. So I really want to push for that. I really want to push for a channel that is Team Natty, but it's, it's a t you know, we're all a team and we're naturally going to try to work on ourselves and get better without the help of external things, substances, whatever the case may be. You know, I might talk about running. There's several shoes that I actually tried because I ran a lot during the quarantine because there was nothing else to do. So I was either lifting or I was running. Talk about my running plans uh, in the future, how my lifting has been going. My fitness has gotten a lot better and back on track, how my dieting has been going, how fasting has been going, methods of fasting and how to, like how I fast and how I diet and how I like stay sane with it all when I'm trying to lean down or do whatever about learning how to communicate better, not just in relationships, but with friends and other people and understanding things. And I think what I wanna do is also put a Christian spin on this and make it a nice shift about just being a good Christian man, make this motivational, make this positive, and have us talk about, you know, being better people for everyone around us, dropping the judgment, dropping um, even the horrible self-criticism that we give ourselves. I mean, like, I am 100% guilty of being super hard on myself and it's caused me to stress out unnecessarily and um, it's put strains on a lot of things with a lot of different people. So I realized that, um, you know, that's something I need to work on. So maybe I can help you guys work on it. Anyway, this video is getting long. I want to cut it off here before it goes any further. Something I need to work on is posture and sitting up straight, uh, but I wanted to be in frame with the camera. Hope this video kind of paints a good picture of what's, what's to come and why I wasn't around. I'm glad to be back though. I missed you guys. I missed making videos. Let's get back at it. Let's, let's get better together, okay? Stay natty. Team Natty out.